My wife and I have some good friends, uh, Don and Sally are their names, and uh, Sally's family has some old property. It's been in the family for a, a, a lot of years, and there's an old barn on the property that has become dangerous, so they're having to take it down. Uh, Don is trying to salvage as many of the boards as possible uh, to use in other projects, and he had some small pieces, and he heard I turned pins, so he asked me if I would like some, so uh, they've given me some barn wood. I don't know what kind it is, I just know that it's old, and I know that it's very solid. I wish I could get a little better picture of that for you guys. Um, there's the end grain there. Some guys always ask to see that. Um, I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know what it is. But uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a few minutes, and I'm going to put together a pin, uh, one for Don and one for Sally as a gift, just to kind of say thank you for thinking of me and giving me some of this barn wood. And I also think it would be a really nice sentimental keepsake since the property and the barn have been in the family uh, in Sally's family for so many years. So let's get started. Okay, I'm at the table saw and uh, I've gone ahead and raised my blade to the height of the material. And I've also set my fence to the width of the material. That way I'm gonna get a nice square blank that'll make it a lot easier to turn on the lathe. So let me uh, get the saw started, get this cut, and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, I've got the piece of wood cut and uh, looks pretty good. Now I've chosen some pin kits. Uh, for Sally, I've chosen, it's kind of hard to see, I need a lot of reflection from my light, but this is a uh, slimline pin kit. Uh, my wife tells me that uh, slimlines are good for the ladies because uh, they have smaller hands than men. So I chose that. And for Don, I chose uh, one of these bullet pins. Um, it's the PSI Magnum Twist Pin. And uh, Don's an outdoor kind of guy, and I think he'll enjoy this pen. It's a little bit more substantial in size, um, but uh, I really think it's going to make a, a, a nice pen. I pulled the brass tubes out of the kit. This larger one's out of the, the uh, bullet pin kit, and these two smaller ones are out of the slim line. And what I'm going to do is just make some rough measurements. I leave a little bit of extra on the end, and I kind of make it a little bit fat on this end here. And what that does is that allows me to... Uh, have room to get the blank, or I'm sorry, get the um, brass tube into the uh, wooden blank, and it allows a little uh, play on either end so that I can trim it up with my barrel trimmer and get a nice flat uh, squared off uh, end, which is what we want. So there's the two uh, pieces for Sally's. I'm going to turn this around. I'm left-handed. It's a little easier for me. I'm going to draw me a perpendicular line right here, and the idea behind this is so that I can match the grain back up on her pin. Now for Don's pin, I'll just come over here and once again flip this around, make it a little easier. And I will mark Don's blank. I'm just going to put a D on this one and I'll put a, an S on uh, Sally's blanks. I've got a couple other blanks to cut and I want to make sure I keep them together. So you can get a little better look here. See if I can get that to kind of adjust a little bit. Sally's blanks are right here. And the first one's there. Second one's there. Perpendicular line allows me to keep the grain together. And here's a Don's blank. So let's uh, get these cut out. There are many different ways that you can uh, cut your blanks. I like to use my old uh, tried and true miter saw. Just line it up a little bit. You don't have to be perfect because like I said, we left a little slop. And nice, steady strokes. Have it and with the perpendicular line we'll be able to line the grain up on Sally's pen and make it look beautiful. Now that we have the blanks cut to size we need to go ahead and drill them out so that we can glue the brass tubes into them that will allow us to place them on the mandrel, turn them and then eventually press the pen parts in. 
We have two different size tubes here. We have a 7 millimeter tube from the slimline kit for Sally's pin, and we have a 10 millimeter tube from the bullet pin for Don's kit. So basically, I've already chucked up a 7 millimeter bit, and I've got my pin vise ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and drill out Sally's blanks. Then we'll swap out the bit for a 10 millimeter bit, and we'll get Don's blank drilled out.